this message, and going back to the, our conversation about the matriarchy, they've totally conditioned women to believe mm -hmm. that we'll marriage a is a trap, yeah. that you are going to be unhappy, that you are going to be sacrificing your freedom. When in reality, I got more freedom than I ever had when I became married because I, I finally became a secure woman. Yeah. I knew mm -hmm. what my purpose in life was when I had children. Yeah. Everything else is so stupid and meaningless. How could you think you were going to find your purpose in the bottom of a Red Bull vodka at One Oak, Candace? You know what I mean? <laughs> How could you think that? Well, because that's what that's what Hollywood told me. That's what I, I saw on MTV. Yeah. And I thought that was all aspiration. I look at those women, I think they're miserable. I look at they these people, that women that are, uh, are still finding their freedom. I say, find the number one feminist that you know and ask yourself a question. Do you think she's happy? Nope. Chasing her career. Do you think Chelsea Handler's happy? Never. No. Right? And the answer is no. And so I'm I'm lucky that I got that wake up call. I'm blessed that I got married. I'm blessed that I have, you know, three children now with, with this one on the way. And the more that I can talk about how happy and fulfilled I am for the first time in my life, right? Not when I was drinking and pretending to be happy, but for the first time I actually am happy. And I got those things by finally realizing that the message that those things were going to constrain me was utterly false and was meant to put me down a path of misery. Yes, because the feminist feminism is a lie and it's a scam. And like Candace said, it wants women to believe that they won't be happy being married or being in relationship or having children. It's just total a total scam, a total scam. Do you think? Why do you think men are not getting married? That's women. Do you think men have something to do with it? As Same well? thing. Mm -hmm. I think. Well, first and foremost, I think, and I speak out on this: women are not desirable right now. Everyone's a Kim Kardashian clone. I asked you earlier, what what don't men want? And you said promiscuity. Mm. Well, that seems about the only thing that's being offered right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I open my Instagram and I've got butt cheeks, and I'm going, people are like, I don't understand why no one wants to. Marry. This woman's been married four times. I'm like, well, I can I can understand it because even if men think they want it in the short term, when you see mm -hmm. a girl. She's half naked. She looks good. Yeah, sure. You probably do want to have sex with her. I bet you're yeah. wired that way. You're yeah. hardwired that way. Yeah. Yeah. But then what happens after you after you have sex with her and you realize that so did up 20 other dudes 100%. in the same week, you don't want her. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. You yeah. absolutely not only nailed it. And this is where it's so we're in such a difficult, it's a race to the bottom with, between the two genders. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As the women act worse, the men act worse men act by worse. extension. Yeah. <laughs> because if you're going to be moral in an immoral world, you're going to end up wrecked. Right. So it's getting harder and harder. So we have to kind of like fix one of the genders first. Women, women aren't desirable right now as uh, in the Western no. hemisphere as a whole. Um, and of course, there finding are a wife is hard. Finding a wife is hard. And it's because women are literally being conditioned to behave yep. like sluts. Yeah. Completely. And they're also being conditioned to leave the man as soon as things get difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of programming in this. I don't think a lot, even many people pick up on, but women are conditioned to act a certain way before marriage, but also during marriage men and women are conditioned differently. If you have a man who's been married for 10 or 15 years, and let's say he doesn't sleep with his woman anymore, and he goes on TV and says, me and my woman have been married for 15 years. We no longer have sex. I'm not satisfied. I should leave. Everyone will say to him, no, you can't leave. Mm. You can't leave her just because she won't have sex with you. Are you out of your mind? Are you crazy? Stick by your woman. She mm -hmm. has an emotional problem, etc." If you had a woman who said, I've been married for 15 years, I've been with him, I'm not attracted anymore, I don't have sex with him anymore, you deserve freedom, you can yeah. go get someone else, why are you putting up with this, you, his, exactly. his feelings aren't your responsibility. So it's actually very interesting also, the PSYOP happens post-marriage, women are also mm -hmm. attacked post-marriage to not try, not stick around, not worry well, about their husband's marriage, needs. Speaking to your point, I, I, one thing I speak to the young women that follow me about is making an effort after you get married. This idea, I, I was reading this ridiculous column, Ask Jane where a guy was writing in or in, in earnest saying, you know, I love my wife. She's a wonderful uh, mother to our children. We've been married. Uh, she had one child two, two years later, she gained 50 pounds and hasn't lost it. Yeah. And the Jane wrote back to him and yelled at him for saying, he's like, he's like, I'm not attracted to her anymore. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. just yelled at him for even saying this. And I'm going, no, this is the, why are you yelling at him for being honest? The idea that marriage is a finish line is problematic. Mm -hmm. That, oh, well, I got the guy. I pretended that I like to work out and go to the gym. And now that I've got him, I'm going to gain 200 pounds and he's just stuck with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a poisonous mentality. You it should is. make an effort for your husband. Exactly. 